right. Good morning. Volunteers with Sleep in Heavenly Peace here are hard at work. Take a look. They're actually sanding some of the wood for the beds right now. The goal is to create about 100 beds this year alone. This is a newer organization, um, and so this is their first build, actually. And I'm here with uh, the chapter's president, Todd Foreman. Good morning. Well, good morning. So let's talk about what we're doing right here today. Sure. So, yeah, we have a newly formed chapter of Sleep in Heavenly Peace for the east side of Cincinnati, slowly moving west, called uh, Cincinnati East. And we are, uh, our core team is coming together, of volunteers we've recruited in the past month uh, to start to learn how to build beds. And you guys, we were talking off camera, you guys started this chapter about a month ago, a month or two ago? Towards the end of January, we yeah. officially got started. We've uh, had some great mentors in the Butler County chapter, Mike and Eileen Watkins. Uh, and then he kind of challenged me and a few other people to do something down here in Hamilton County. So here we are. That's awesome. How many volunteers do you guys have today? We should have about 30 people today uh, coming and learning, some families. It's a great family event, which yeah. is what I love about the organization. Uh, and then when we do deliveries, we'll have we'll need just as many more. And you can see it being built here, these beds being built in their early stages, but you also have a built one here. Yeah. Can we talk about what each kid that you serve gets every time they get a bed? Because it's not just a bed frame, right? Correct, yeah. So we give ready-to-sleep-in beds for the kids. We can do bunk beds uh, if the family needs it. A lot of them have uh, space constraints. Or we can do uh, single beds. They come apart, and they will last a lifetime. What does it mean to you to be a part of this, to um, help do this for kids in our community? Yeah, you know, it's such a blessing. Uh, obviously, helping kids get beds is so important. Good night's sleep. I was a teacher for most of my career, and kids need to have sleep, good sleep. Uh, it also helps the family, so that's a blessing, too. And the fact that so many volunteers can come together and work together, and companies can do builds, and churches, and schools, it's just so rewarding to be able to see a community, the impact it makes on a community or on a family. And lastly, um, if anyone's watching this and they're wondering how they can donate or how they can volunteer, um, what are some ways they can do? Sure. Well, certainly they can visit the national website, www.shpbeds.org. And we have our own website, shpcincy.org, C-I-N-C-Y. That is part of the larger website, but it's our page. And on there they can find links on how to uh, donate, obviously, if they want to support a bed or if they want to contact me about doing a bed build for their company or if they just want to volunteer. Or actually if they want to apply for a bed, they can do that on that page as well. Awesome. Well, Todd, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I think they're going to put me to work, David, so I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.